Hello students. Today's video is going to be on a topic. How does number recognition work? This is a topic related to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Those who are interested in learning the basics of machine learning and artificial intelligence and about uh, neural networks, this is the video one should see to understand what is training, what is testing, and what is a training algorithm, etc. etc. So, this is a very good example which I have taken from one of the free videos in internet about number recognition by uh, Simon, Mark Simon. You know, this is about image recognition in which, you know, there is a 8 by 8 grid which is, which, which is available to you write down a number from 0 to 9. So, ultimately it is a multi-class problem of 10 classes is going to predict the number which you are writing on the grid from 0 to 9, whatever number you are written is going to predict. Now how does this work? To make you understand how does it work, I begin by just clearing everything to zero whatever you see on the screen you're clearing everything to zero what it is i'm going to tell you and there are two modes in any machine learning problem that is learning and other is a recognition learning is a process of learning an object or a number which you write and recognition is what is called the prediction now Select a pattern number which you can draw over the grid and if you say pattern number, pattern per number is equal to 3 as you can see on the screen. So what does it mean? It means that you are going to train each number 3 times. So row you will train 3 times, 1 you will train 3 times, 2 you will train 3 times. and Initially, you see that you can reset the entire grid that you see here with zeros. This is a 8 by 8 grid exactly like here, 8 by 8. Here also you will see 8 by 8 matrix. And what you saw in the screen, the matrix, is not one single frame. There were 10 frames. And the frame, this is called the zeroth frame. This is called the first frame, this is called second frame, and it goes on up to ninth frame. Each frame is dedicated for creating the weights for each number. Now, when you train zero first time like this in this grid, you have 10 pages behind, as I said. That means 10 frames of weights, one for one dedicated for each number. For example, page 0 or grid 0, I call it, is for 0 and page 0, page 9 or grid 9 is for 9. So that while training 0, whenever a, the pixel is black, the weight, wherever the pixel is black, wherever you are drawn, you can see those portions will be incremented by Ten weightage of plus ten. Others will be decremented by ten. So, for example, if I draw, suppose I say my zero is this zero. Suppose I say this is a new number system in which I say this is my zero. So, wherever you have marked black, they are between plus 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 plus. Others are between minus ten minus ten minus ten. You are trying to learn zeroth number, so that means the frame is also zeroth frame. Now, while training zero, 
all other pages that is page 1 to 9 weights will be minus 1 that is what I'm trying to say is earlier you remember you were trying to draw 0 like that so in the first frame what happened wherever there are pixels it makes it minus 1 wherever there are no pixels it is plus 1 it in the earlier page it was like it plus 10 and minus 10 here it is minus 1 and plus 1 now same with page 2 page 2 also same thing happens wherever you are having a pixel that becomes minus 1 others will become plus 1 and this is the frame 2 so now you can see second time suppose I I am training 0 my 0 I am thinking this is my 0 you can see that this is my 0 so what happened wherever you are marked it incremented by plus 10 wherever it was not there it became 0 the earlier it was 10 10 minus 10 and here wherever there are no pixel again incremented by minus 10 it became minus 20 so what happened to other pages this time that is page 2 3 up to 9 so here you can see that it becomes minus 2 here and it becomes 0 here so it incremented by minus 1 and here it is other way so now if you train 0 third time same kind of I am drawing 0 as this then what happened in the other frames it becomes minus 2 here and becomes 0 here because it is incrementing the frames which are not relevant you are wherever there are pixels you are incrementing by minus 1 others are plus 1 so same way so in the first frame first frame this frame 0 you are getting a final weight edges like this when you train 0 0 the training is over now you are training now going to train 1 one you need to when you train the same kind of, kind of principle is applied wherever whichever suppose you are training one that means the first frame is yours the main frame the responsible frame is one there you can see that whatever number was already existing with respect to that when i press go you see this is going to increment by 10 you can see that so finally what happens you train all the numbers that is 0 to 9 after that you can go into the recognition mode that means so stop the program by pressing the stop button so you will already learned recognition and you know you just draw this and say what it will predict is it will it will predict 0 it is supposed to predict 0 because this was trained for 0 so now how did it find it creates an output matrix of 10 this is for 0 this is for 1 this is for 2 this it adds all the, so wherever it adds so multiply all the weights corresponding to these black ones and corresponding to that frame and it is a perceptron addition sigma i is equal to 0 to n n is equal to 9 w i x i w weight is all in the frames xi is the dot you are this is called the testing image now earlier it was a training image so now you understood what's the difference between a training image and a testing image now you are in the recognition mode that means you are you are asking what it is so it's a training image so what why we are getting 1840 is 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 basically you are applying a formula there you are multiplying weightage which are in the frames plus the, the pixels which you are testing and if pixel is white you are applying this formula otherwise you are applying this formula so now the final answer is the biggest number in the one di dimensional output alright 10 into 1 index of the biggest number is the prediction now the same thing you can put in terms of a flowchart or a table in which the learning is a process in which 
it goes through pixel by pixel and if if there is it will increment button decrement button and increment by minus 1 decrement by minus 10 in the opposite fronts so same thing i have i have made it very clear here it's incrementing button or decrementing button or in the other case the frames which are not relevant it is minus and plus one so frames the if this is frame for zero then other frames it will be weightage will be minus one and plus one so that you can have a sufficient distance between the numbers frames or weights so this is called the testing this is the right now this is a testing image you can see that what it does is wherever there is a pixel it multiply by its weight and add them. that is the way it is so <coughs> excuse me the clear explanation is this is a perceptron recognition that is the weight of the number is multiplied by the pixel and added so this is same like a sigma i is equal to 1 to n w i x i that is kind of model and one of the most important thing you learn from this in any machine learning unlike conventional programming conventional programming gives some input and get some output it's a predefined program model but here it is some kind of brain it creates itself in machine learning the more you train the better the result becomes the more you train teach a child the child can predict more better same way so this method demonstrate large difference in weights between numbers and learn and as you learn more and more you you train more times you will see the distance between the numbers increases weightage differences increases so the conclusion is you learned what is training algorithm training algorithm is what i have shown it to you creating the weights by a logic the, the training data set is the numbers which are drawn by hand they are the training data sets and the training image Training data set could be in terms of numbers you can represent probably and the image is like what you have drawn. So what are test images, what are test data sets and what is test prediction and prediction success means when you really write down a test image 0 to 9, how many times is predicting correct? 100 times, suppose out of 100 times, 99 times if it predicts then my prediction is 99% correct. So, the basics of all the neural networks can be learned from this problem and this is a very very good example about to learn the basics of machine learning. So you can see as you train three times you see the difference is 1840 and 184 weights. If you train five times difference increases minus 304 and 3040 by the training algorithm that is quite intelligent thank you